Turk and I met over a bloomin' onion. I like to think of it as a metaphor for our relationship because it's delicious, but not really so healthy. I will hurt you, little man. She's like a grim. One week teaching here, and already I was falling back into old rhythms with my friend and mentor, Perry Cox. Beautiful day, huh, Big Pear? Dear God, newbie, where'd you come from? He is to always wear a sign that says number one. It signifies that he is the one med student for which I have hope. Thanks, it's a nightmare. All the best, number one. You don't have to wear this. Look how, look how silly it looks on me. Yeah. I hate wearing this so much. Huh? He said you put that on you, and he was yelling, and I was like, OK, don't get mad. But I don't want to wear it. I don't. Guard that, number one. No! You're dangerous, aren't you? Yes, I am. Let you listen to rap music. And that was me, Dr. D. Dude! Again? Finally, where have you been? I came as soon as I heard! I thought you said there were bees! Where are the bees? They're quiet now, but I think they're plotting something big. Can't we just shake the tree again? Go shake! Come on, little white baby, jump in my arm! <laughs> you all right? It's like being held by a big piece of caramel. I wanted you to witness this. Number one, say goodbye to the number one sign. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> and say hello to the number one shirt. What? It's beautiful, honestly, the nicest shirt I've ever received from a grown married man. Oh, go on. Please leave me alone. Put it on. Hey, wow, that's, that's some crazy ink you got there. What the hell is that thing, anyway? I don't know. I woke up after a three-day bender driving a forklift and sporting this. My name's Drew. I'm so cool, because I've been in prison and I got a tattoo. Mark him and I'll eat your soul. All right, team, this should be fairly straightforward. Scalpel. Drew's rubbing this T-shirt thing in my face. JD, what the hell? I'm in surgery. It's not even the right color for him. He's clearly an autumn. You've lost it. Dr. Turk is right. You should be asleep. She should be asleep. There's no better way to celebrate saving a life than pretending to like beer. Oh, sticky. Yep, I'm sitting between my best bud and my abusive father figure watching my new favorite thing. Footballing! They're staring. Quick, talk like a jock. Sports grass is so lovely. Here I thought we weren't bringing our wives this evening. Sucks, I thought you wanted to be a good teacher. During the day, I'm a good teacher. But right now, I'm ready for a little Magnum P.I. crustache. I'm gonna be Magnum P.I., and you're gonna be Black Higgins. You should talk to Dr. Cox. What the hell are you wearing? I'm showing my owl cat spirit. If it's not enough, I have wings and talons in the car. Is that glitter? Hell no! It came with a makeup kit. I don't have to use it. Today? Oh, for the love of God, Francine. I gotta go get the tickets at Will Call. Please don't let him put the glitter on. I've heard that sentence uttered about another man. What exactly do you want from me? But whatever you do, don't wait for that pat on the back. Because believe me, it will never, ever... Oh, come on! You can't go back now. I love you, sports grass. It is pretty soft. Pretty soft? It's like lying on a cloud. Why did they have to ruin you by painting all these numbers and lines? Hey, Cap. Looks like we got some more turf freaks. Got some what? Turn it up. That is disgusting. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Warm up the golf cart and get the taste. The Mexican one? El Conquistador. Let's do it. Uh -huh. 